Hello everybody, my name is Ratnos, and today I wanted to make a video about what you can do this week to start prepping your character and powering it up, uh, and also kind of help you figure out what is the most urgent things to do to prioritize. Uh, so basically whenever there's a new patch, I like to think about what sort of stuff do I need to get done, you know, daily, versus what kind of stuff is on like a weekly lockout, versus what kind of stuff is just, I can get to this and do it whenever I want to, and it won't be a problem. Um, the daily stuff is basically Corthia reputation grinds. Um, so, so there's a lot of daily lockout stuff for the two reputations of Corthia, which are the Death's Advance and the Archivist Codex. So if you care about min-maxing your rep with those, the most urgent thing you can do is get through the Chains of Domination questline up through Chapter 3, unlock those reps, unlock the Death's Advance or the Archivist Codex rep, which you can do by, like, finding a treasure. It'll give you a little breadcrumb quest, and then you'll go do a bunch of quests in Corthia to unlock that rep. Uh, and then once you have that rep, so you have the Archivist Codex rep and the Death's Advance rep, and you can start doing whatever dailies and stuff, running around in Corthia, finding a bunch of rares and treasures and that kind of thing to increase your rep with these factions. Now, should you care about these factions and min-maxing their rep? Well, there's some cool stuff on the vendor. Death's Advance, the most powerful thing for character power level is uh there's a 220 domination socketed item one for each armor type available here um so that's something that you know get it you, you normally need to get to honored to get this thing and it would probably be good to have this going into say heroic or mythic week if you don't already have um like if you can't get a slot from the raid a drop from the raid that has that so that's something that's like a small power level increase but not a huge deal uh, and then the Archivist Codex rep vendor is down in this little cave here. And this one uh, sells... So the reason you care about Archivist Codex rep, there's a bunch of kind of little things here that cost the cataloged research. And these basically help you find more Archivist Codex rep stuff. Uh, that's all, a lot of it is also on daily lockouts, but the big rewards here are the rewards that were on Venari last time, which are uh, conduit upgrades up to 252 and sockets, both of which are locked behind tier 6, which is the maximum tier of the Archivist Codex. There is also another uh, domination socketed piece also behind tier 6 Archivist Codex, and this one is heroic raid item level at 239. Uh, better than the the stuff you can get from Death's Advance on that one, but of course this will be achievable much later. So this is kind of the new Venari rep equivalent, where you know if you really are trying to push forward the date at which you will get access to these sockets and to these conduit upgrades, um, that's what you want to be caring about. Which means you want to get these three uh, chapters done, doing all the intro quest lines, and then start just running circles around Corthia finding the rares, finding the treasures. The rares behave a little bit differently than they did in the Maw. You know, in the Maw, most of these little rares, you just could walk up and if they weren't currently available, they would spawn in a couple seconds, right? They spawned very frequently. But the rares in Corthia are a lot more old-style rares, where it's like, oh, this thing's up, it's killed, all right, it'll be back in like 30 minutes or something. Um, so you're kind of just running around, doing circles around Corthia, finding things that give small amounts of rep. Um, there are a bunch of one-time items you can find that are worth more rep. There's potentially an argument to be made for waiting to turn those in if you're really trying to min-max until the Dark Moon Fair begins uh, on the Sunday the 4th. One caveat to that is, A, it's unclear that that actually increases rep gains with the Archivist Codex, uh, because apparently the human racial didn't work on that rep back on PTR, uh, so maybe the Dark Moon Fair won't either. And B then you are you wouldn't be getting to Tier 2 and 3 as early as possible, which means you wouldn't be getting access to the items from the rep that then let you get more rep, right? Uh, these things you can find at Tier 2, you know, you can use these to get more rep, uh, and so there's kind of a incentive to push as fast as possible early on and use all of those one-time boosts of rep early into the rep grind. Again, all of this is for pretty minor sets of rewards, right? It's the same rewards that were on Venari, plus a domination socketed item uh, from those two rep vendors. So it's not a huge thing to worry about, um, but that is the only thing that's on that kind of daily pressure cadence. Other than that, the only other stuff you can do starting this week is stuff that's on a bi-weekly or weekly cadence. The bi-weekly stuff is these Covenant Assaults. Uh, so right now the Night Fae Assault is up, uh, and that'll be up until 
halfway through the weekly reset, which for North America is Friday evening. Uh, and that is something that you do want to do if you're trying to upgrade your legendaries to rank 5 and 6. You want to avoid having this one expire because uh, it gives you 50 soul cinders, of which you need a little bit over 1,000 to make your legendary upgrade. Um, you can also get soul cinders from the Tormentors of Torghast event, which is similar to the Wrath of the Jailer. It's kind of the new replacement of that uh, that spawns in the Maw as well. So you go find that and do it when it shows up. Uh, you have all week to get that done, and that's 100 soul cinders. So that's 200 soul cinders from the two bi-weekly assaults and the one Tormentors of Torghast. Not huge time pressure on that, but, you know, weekly and bi-weekly respectively. And there's Torghast, where uh, you have two floors available, or two wings available, like usual. And if you can push those up to the new layer, you can start getting Soul Cinders from there as well. So that's the other stuff uh, for Legendary upgrades that you can get started on now. Um, and should do, but again, sometime this week, right? It's not something where you need to do it today. If you're looking for stuff that is worth doing today, the only thing that matters is if you care about the reps. The other stuff going on this week is Renown. You can start pushing up your Renown again. Um, so if you're below Renown 40, the catch-up mechanic is pretty abundant now. You should be able to get Renown from a lot of different sources. If you are at Renown 40 coming into this week, there are two sources of Renown uh, that will upgrade you, which are Replenish the Reservoir, which you may be familiar with. Uh, and then once you do all the Corthia intro stuff, you will get this Shaping Quest weekly, or Shaping, Shaping Fate weekly. Uh, which you'll do another version of this beforehand as well that isn't the weekly, that's just like it, it teaches you what this is. Uh, and then you will get this weekly, and that's just fill a bar in Corthia and the Maw. Uh, doing assaults and stuff counts for that as well. Uh, and that will get you, in addition to a bunch of anima and Stygian embers, which uh, upgrade your shards of domination, uh, a emblem of renown. So there's the new source of renown. The souls weekly no longer gives renown, so that's only something you care about. Uh, if you want the souls, or if you're capped on souls, it'll start giving you anima. So uh, that can be a useful thing that, you know, it's worth doing if you're in the mob, but uh, it's not super urgent. Uh, so that'll get you up to Renown 42 this week, uh, which notably, there's no new campaign, Covenant campaign stuff this week. So I think 42 will be where we stop off. And then next week we will go 43, 44. Oh, campaign chapter, 45. Uh, and so then on the week after that, which is Mythic Week, we will go 46, 47, and then maybe this thing gives Renown, or maybe it doesn't. Uh, and that will affect whether or not we get our uh, Renown 48, which is relevant if and only if you care about your Covenant Legendary, which unlocks then, uh, which most specs don't, but some do. Um, so if that's something you're looking forward to, that's either going to happen on Mythic Week or the week after Mythic comes out. Um, other than that, you know, just kind of standard Renown reward track that we're on now. We're gaining two or three Renown per week based on those two weeklies, uh, right? The Anima one and the Shaping Fate one. Uh, and then whenever we hit a, a campaign chapter, uh, we should be getting new Renown hits then as well. Um, and then, you know, there's Soulbind upgrades. We've got the new levels of our Soulbinds uh, that we can get access to down here. And, you know, the, the usual stuff in there, so... Uh, we're on that grind again as well. Don't worry too much if you're below around 40. You have all week to catch up very... It should be pretty easy as long as you are... Like, if you're behind, you should be able to get Renown from pretty much anything now. Um, and I think you can even get it by just doing stuff in Corthia. You'll get Renown drops from various uh, things in here. So, that's what's going on this week. Um, not too much urgency with anything to do this week. There is a little bit of incentive to do a high Mythic Plus key as well because that will affect the level of key that you get next week. Uh, which will then start to matter for your actual rewards. So it's it's kind of a convoluted chain. If you want to hear a little bit more about that, I released a video a couple hours ago about Mythic Plus this week uh, that'll talk about the affixes and also what the Mythic Plus schedule for the next couple weeks looks like. Um, so if you're super min-maxing that, if you're trying to make sure that you're going to have all of your Great Vault slots filled with the highest item level stuff at the times when they actually start being the new item levels, then that's a video that I would recommend to go check out. Um, but otherwise... You know, don't need to worry too much about that either. There's nothing really new in Mythic Plus this week either. Um, so that's what's going on. Pretty minimal amount of stuff to actually do this week. Although, if you are interested in these very minor rep gains, you know, you can circle around in Corthia for hours and keep finding new tiny little incremental sources of Archivist Codex rep. Um, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Make up your own mind on that. But thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.